Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and this is your stimulus check update for the next stimulus package for Friday, April 2nd. I hope everyone is off to a good and safe start to their Friday so far and that you all have a wonderful weekend ahead. In this video, I'll be discussing updates in regards to the current relief package and the third stimulus check. I'll also be discussing upcoming payment dates for those on social security benefits, such as SSI and SSDI, President Biden, possibly canceling up to $50,000 in student loan debt, and then I'll be wrapping up this video by answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. But first, if you wouldn't mind real quickly liking this video, give me a big thumbs up. It really just helps with the YouTube algorithm in terms of pushing this video out to other viewers like you and hopefully helping other people like you as well. Also, just real quickly in the comment section below, let me know whether or not you've received your third direct payment. And if not, if you're at least receiving a payment date. Okay, just a quick update today, mainly for those on Social Security benefits or other federal beneficiaries. If you still have received your third direct payment of $1,400, more than likely, again, you can expect for it to arrive next Wednesday. This weekend, the IRS has announced that it will be sending out another massive wave of direct payments. So at some point this weekend, or perhaps even on Monday, you should expect for the portal to finally update. If not, regardless, since some people receive their payments without the portal ever updating, I would still recommend checking your bank accounts. So this mainly includes those currently receiving Social Security, SSI, or RRB, who have not submitted a tax return within the last two years, and also didn't fill out the non-fathers tool last year. So very good news as far as that goes. Also, just another quick and interesting thing to note, if you currently have any student loan debt, you may have been disappointed to find out that none of it was canceled in the last bill. However, just recently, President Biden asked Education Secretary Miguel Cardona to prepare a memo seeing if he'd had the legal authority to cancel up to $50,000 in student loan debt. Early on, President Biden was reluctant to bypass Congress to forgive any student loans and at most, he said he'd like to cancel $10,000. Now, it seems like he's completely on board with bypassing Congress once again and canceling up to $50,000. At the moment, students with loans at the federal level don't have to worry about their bills or interest accruing through the end of September. Obviously, even though that's very helpful, having up to $10,000 or even $50,000 would help even more. And Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is all for it. In a statement, Schumer said, you don't need Congress. All you need is the flick of a pen. With that said, do you support student loan being canceled? And if so, do you believe that President Biden should be able to do so through executive order? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. In unemployment news, first time jobless claims for the week ending on March 27th showed a total of 719,000. This is a fairly big increase from the week prior where first time job followings were only at 658,000. And while historically, this is still a very big number, at the very least, the trend seems to be falling each and every week as the economy continues to reopen. Also, with the jobs report coming out today for the month of March, some really good stuff could be seen. The report showed that non-farm payrolls increased by 916,000 for the month, while the unemployment rate also fell to 6%. This is also an improvement from the jobs report in February, where the unemployment rate fell to 6.2%. However, even though we're definitely seeing some improvement, we're still 2.5% higher than we were back in February of last year before the pandemic took place. So obviously, we still have a long way to go. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm gonna move right along to answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. So without further ado, let me go ahead and jump into the first comment of this video, which is from Cecily. Cecily says, hello Josh, could you just clarify if I have to wait to file an admitted return to receive what I paid on my unemployment? Okay, thank you so much for your question. And no, if you've already paid taxes on the first $10,200 you received in unemployment benefits for last year, then you do not need to file an amended return in order to receive the money. Instead, the IRS instructs that people do not refile and they say, at the moment, they plan on issuing the money back 
at some point next month. So at some point in May, you should receive an additional refund in the same method you received the first one, which most likely was via direct deposit. Okay, moving right along to the next comment this video, which is from Kimmy. Kimmy says, hi Josh, still have not received it. My payment day was March 17th. Okay, thank you so much for your comment. And first off, I'm very sorry that you still haven't received your third direct payment. In this case, if they send it via direct deposit, it sounds like the bank had issues receiving the money. Either that, or perhaps the IRS sent the money to a closed account. Either way, at this point, you should expect for the IRS to send you a check in the mail instead. Now, if they sent you a check in the mail back on the 17th, I would find it incredibly odd if at this point, two weeks later, you still haven't received it. Although checks were taking a few weeks to arrive in the second round, this time around, they're being received much faster. So at this point, if you still haven't received it, I would maybe give it another week. And if you'd like, you can always sign up for a free service through the US Postal Service called Informed Delivery. With Informed Delivery, you can track which pieces of mail are expected to arrive each and every day. So if you see a piece of mail that looks like it could be your stimulus check, you'll know it might be a good day to check the mail. Again, I'm terribly sorry that you're having to wait for such a long period of time but I hope that it won't be too much longer before you receive your payment. All right, moving right along to the next comment this video, which is from Valerie. Valerie says, I haven't received my $600 or $1,400 stimulus as of yet. I'm on SSDI. As of this March, I received my first payment. I haven't filed taxes since 2018. Help. Okay, thank you so much for your question, Valerie. And first off, I'm very sorry that you still haven't received your second or third direct payment. In this case, in order to receive your second direct payment of $600, you'll need to claim that money as a credit on the tax returns that you filed this year. At this point, the IRS is not going to be sending any more payments from the second round, so that's going to be your only option to receive these $600. As far as the third direct payment goes, more payments are expected to go out next Wednesday, April 7th, so it's very possible that you receive your payment on that date. Okay, moving right along to the next comment this video, which is from Sherry. Sherry says, my daughter is on SSI and she did not receive her payment on her Direct Express card. Instead, it went to a bank account that is closed. What now, Josh? Okay, thank you so much for your question, Sherry. And in this case, since the IRS sent your daughter's payment to a closed account, at this point, the bank is going to return the payment to the IRS. Once the IRS receives a return payment, They'll end up reprocessing her payment and sending her a check in the mail instead. So within a few weeks, your daughter should see that the payment portal has updated once again, showing that a check has been sent in the mail. With this, obviously there could be a delay, but I would expect that she should receive her payment before the start of May. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. If you did enjoy the content in this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It is completely free to do so, and it's a great support to me. Also, if you'd like to receive two free stocks from Weeble, valued up to $1,800, or one free stock from Robinhood, just for signing up and linking your bank account, please feel free to claim those free stocks by clicking the link in the description box below. And finally, if you join Rakuten with my referral link in the description box below and spend at least $30, Rakuten will give you $30 cash back. This means that you can buy an item through Rakuten with one of their referral links, such as Nike, for $30, and Rakuten will give you $30 just for making that purchase. This is just an incredible deal that we'd love for everyone to take advantage of. Okay, so until next time, I'll see you guys, and I hope you have a great day today.